Hi, Larry here from The Unprofessional, and I'm gonna show you how I made a small French cleat wall to organize items in my coat closet. This video is part of a small closet transformation series. You can see the full video linked in the top corner or by visiting my channel. French cleat walls are typically found in workshops for tool storage, but with a little paint and finish work, they can look great in any space. They're adjustable, which is ideal for all types of organization. The first thing you'll need for a cleat wall is a flat space. This can be just a regular wall, or you can build a panel like I did out of plywood. Because I'm attaching to plywood, I can nail anywhere along the cleat. If you attach cleats directly to the wall, you'll have to locate the studs and nail directly to the studs. Now imagine this is a wall. One of the cleats cut at a 45 degree angle is firmly attached to the wall, and the other cleat, which is also cut at a 45 degree angle, is attached in the opposite direction to an accessory. Together, they lock into place, supporting the accessory without being permanently attached to the wall. I used a one by five to make my cleats and my accessory cleats, but a lot of people use three fourths inch plywood for this. First, I cut the one by five down into pieces that were the exact size as the cleat wall space. Then I ripped each piece in half at a 45 degree angle on my table saw. I made a bunch of cleats this way, most of which I attached to the actual wall for my cleat wall, but the leftovers are what I used for the accessory cleats. There's other ways to make cleats, but this was the easiest and fastest way for me to make a bunch of cleats in my tiny wood shop dungeon. I think this is gonna be easy to attach. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on it. I've got um, a spacer that I'm gonna use right here. The cleats are two and a half inches, and this is three inches. So they're gonna be spaced three inches apart. Um, the cleat's gonna be two and a half inches. Think about the amount of weight your cleats will hold and pick fasteners accordingly. I used 18 gauge brad nails and glue because my cleats are only gonna be holding about 15 pounds max per cleat. Cleats can hold a lot of weight if you attach directly to the studs with long screws. I worked up the wall with my spacer, making sure that the 45 degree angle was pointing up and checking my level on each cleat. I put three brad nails in each cleat plus glue. After the glue was dry, I filled the holes and sanded. Now I painted my cleats and my accessories, and I did this with a chalk paint. If you plan to paint your cleats, my recommendation is to use a matte, flat, or chalk finish. Otherwise, the sheen of the paint can stick between the wall cleat and the accessory cleat. Now that my cleats were ready, I made a few accessories by attaching the leftover cleats to the back of some hooks I had. You can trim down the cleats on your table saw to make them thinner. Just be sure to trim from the squared edge and leave the 45 degree angle intact. I put glue on the back of the cleat, made sure the 45 degree angle was pointed down, clamped it, and nailed it together. I let the glue dry completely, and then I painted. Now test out your cleats and pat yourself on the back for a job well done. Thanks for watching. This has been Lara from The Unprofessional. To see written instructions for this project and other DIY projects, visit my website, theunprofessional.com. And if you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe.